Hello and welcome to another video from Hole Reese Artist. I am said Hole Reese and today we're going to be looking at the process of creating a single painting from a number of original photographs, separate photographs. This is something I do on a regular basis, but recently I've done an example uh, where I've created a single painting from three separate images, and uh, I thought that would it would be interesting for you for people to understand how that actually works and how how we go about it. It's a very consultative thing. So let's uh, let's change over to uh, photo or to um, my file manager, and I will show you how we uh, do this. Right. Here's the base images that I got from um, the owner. Let's make them bigger. There we go. That's uh, rather larger, easier for you to see, I hope. The, the dogs were called Hetty, uh, Mabel and Percy. And I had five images of Hetty, four of Mabel and four of Percy to choose from. I could have asked for more, but that, that was the that, that seemed enough to get going. The initial uh, choice was that one of Hetty, which is a lovely image. Um, that one of Mabel. Um, that one of Percy who's the youngest of the three. Hetty's the uh, oldest and Mabel's in between. What that created, uh, and, and I agreed that with the owner and then went away and did a couple of weeks work. And um, that's what uh, was uh, created as a result. I chose a, a brown black background which sort of mirrored um, principally the two two of the dogs, but also didn't do uh, too bad a job of uh, of complementing um, Mabel, the darker dog, and uh, it was it was a lovely image to paint. Actually, uh, it it took a, a little while to do, but. Um, you know, it, it, it was a, a pleasure to do. The Now, by the time I'd painted it and set up uh, an, uh, a Zoom call to talk about it with the owner, I was actually having some misgivings about the overall image. And the misgivings were to do with Hetty, the dog in the top right-hand corner of the image. She, although it's a it was a lovely individual image of her, it's rather different from the uh, from the other two, it's different in the sense that she's not looking directly at the viewer. But that wasn't necessarily enough of a problem in its own right. But it is a slightly softer image. The ears are, 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 are quite out of focus, and the the eyes are a little bit out of focus as well. Uh, the snout and the and nose are sharp, but. Whereas the other two images are, are much sharper, that one's slightly got a what's called a shallower depth of field. However, I showed it to the owner, and initially she was really enthusiastic about it, very enthusiastic indeed. But then, as we talked about it more, and I didn't share my misgivings initially, but as we talked about the image more, she she actually came to the same conclusion as me, and in fact said, "Well, I'm not sure that image of." Hetty's working, and I said, well, I agree, but I wanted you to say that. Um, and we discussed it a bit more, and we said, okay, well, what, what I'll do, I'll go away and choose, uh, and, um, and paint another image. And we actually, in the call, decided that instead of that image, uh, we would use that image of Hetty. Which is similar to the other two in that it is, uh, in that the uh, Hetty is looking more or less at the camera, and um, 
although it was a less engaging image in some ways than that one uh, we felt that that would be better and then I went away and did some more painting and that's what I ended up with and if I just flick between the two that's the original that's the revised version and I showed that to the owner and she was delighted with it we she was very happy with it even though it had you know she had she'd taken the full part in choosing the original three it just hadn't quite worked out and, and we changed it and that's the sort of consultation that I uh, and, and interaction that I love with an owner because you don't get everything right first time uh, particularly when you've got multiple images like this it just they may look fine as individual images but when you when you put them together they they may not all work so that's what um, uh, she's chosen that she's delighted with it like I say and she's given me a five star review on Trustpilot um, which is fantastic but it does just go to show that you've got to work at these things and it does take some interaction with the owner it's not fully always fully down to the to the artist I hope you've in, you found that interesting I hope you find it useful um, it certainly was a, a learning experience for me and I love learning <laughs> I, I, from my lifelong learner and uh, yeah it, it, that, that's part of the attraction of this whole thing to me I wish you well I'll see you again perhaps in the next video and until uh, until then uh, every blessing and I'll see you again soon